All right. I don't know if this part or not. <laughs> and then everything broke. Don't tempt fate. Because when you tempt fate, we have accidents. And we don't need accidents in a drawing tutorial. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's double check to make sure that this tutorial is working. I am going to be watching the screen vigorously. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're alive! Hello, everybody! What's oh up, God. Silo Cave? It's your boy Gigi here. Uh, I'm in the flesh. Don't look at my uh, pajama pants. They're totally not alpacas. So... <laughs> Hi everybody! Um, welcome to the first live stream of a weekly series that is going to be involving me teaching you guys how to draw the characters of the murder of me. Uh, if you do not know, I am Gigi. I create, write, and draw the murder of me in its entirety. And with me, I have a few people that are going to be helping me uh, answer you guys' questions, especially because I'll be drawing and it's really hard for me to look at the chat and then look back on here. So, without further ado, uh, would you guys like to introduce yourselves? No. no. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, that was a good stream, everybody. Thanks. Have a good one. Well, nice to meet you all. <laughs> good day and good night. God damn it, Eagle. Hey! That's no, it. No, 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 no. Uh, so, who would like to start first? You have to introduce yourselves. Oh, we have to I, introduce I ourselves? Yes, Disco, you, you can go first. I just went, I just said hi, and, and also goodbye. Disco <laughs> is one of our staff members. He is our moderator. Thank you so much for telling us that, Disco. That's such a good thing. <laughs> No, uh, 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 all right. Who wants to go? Who wants to go second? Hello? 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 Um, who wants to go next? Okay, so to my metaphorical right, since you people are too shy to do it, um, <laughs> the person that you hear for you is uh, dubbed Cupid Sonic. Uh, we're gonna call him Ant. Uh, Hello. Uh, Cupid Sonic is a assistant artist. He worked on the Christmas special for The Murder of Me. He also worked on a cover for issue 14. And uh, I think that's it for now. Um, he's also been our promotion artist for our Twitter. I draw stuff. One of our moderators. <laughs> yes, and also one of our moderators for both our Discord and staff. Uh, and speaking of the person who corrected me, that is Cyril. <laughs> Cyril! is one of our veteran moderators of our Discord server specifically. Um, but he has also managed the moderation of our streams, of our comments section. He's basically a ninja. <laughs> and then... Everything. Of course. And then, last but not least, the uh -huh. one and only voice actor you guys have not met yet. You have not heard from him yet, but you will soon. <clears throat> I would like to introduce you guys a prob probably unfamiliar face. The guy Silver, who is our, one of our new voice actors that joined with us in October. He is our voice actor that voices for Antoine, Mogul, and Chaos. I forgot what the third one was for a second there. <laughs> Say hi, you Silver. forgot the best T Mom character, Mogul? I can't believe this. Say hi, Silver. <laughs> Hello! Hello, everyone. Good morning, good day, and good evening, whatever your time zone may be. Yes. So, what we're going to be doing is, I have to take most of the lead here since this is a drawing tutorial, but I wanted to bring the gang in here, not only so that way you got, uh, they could read out your comments and answer any questions you guys have while we're streaming, but, you know, while I'm boringly drawing a Sonic the Hedgehog character, I thought it'd be a nice little idea to sprinkle in some possible fun, I don't know, voice acting related fun stage hour mess. Who knows, right? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. What, and then, um, and go uh, from there. Sorry, what'd you say, Silver? 
Oh, I just said whatever the, uh, wherever this dream takes us, we will go with it. Exactly. This into chaos. A lot of people really requested this, and so I'm really excited to get into this. Um, initially, I was going to do this by myself, but I'm actually kind of glad that so uh, people are here with me because I get kind of bored in <laughs> when I'm drawing. Believe it or not, that's why I always and talk. Then... Yes, and we don't want you to get bored because then you do weird things. Don't ask what the weird things are, guys. Anyways. <laughs> what are the weird things? Without further ado, <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> Artists, do you have your paper and pencil? Because the materials you will need will require something to draw with and something to draw on. It could be on a tablet, on a phone, on a piece of paper, on a Cintiq, whatever it is that you desire to draw on, I think now is the time to gather those materials. Because we're going to start doing this right now. <clears throat> God, that is paper really time. creepy music playing while I'm doing this. <laughs> so, one of the biggest things that I've been requested to do outside of learning how to draw Xylo, which we will do another time, is drawing the actual main character itself. Sonic the Hedgehog from the Murder Me. Now, <clears throat> Sonic in general is pretty easy in my opinion because all you need to know, like literally Team Mom Sonic is just Sonic with a cape and a necklace. So, once you have a paper and pencil in front of you, you're gonna probably wanna grab some reference photos. So that's why I have this here. Um, I made this really old art piece um, and it's a turnaround of Team Mom Sonic. So, because we're just focusing on on Team Mom Sonic right now, that is what we're going to be drawing, is just Team Mom Sonic. Now, one of the things that we do notice about Team Mom Sonic specifically, and by the way, I'm using the acronym Team Mom, an acronym for the murder of me, because the murder of me is, about, is a bit of a handful. Anyways, <laughs> Team Mom Sonic's main difference are these little parts here, this entire area and section. He wears an amulet. Um, actually, you know what? I have a plushie just for this occasion. Hold on. He's very blue. I have a doll just for this occasion. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this up to the camera. So you notice how um, this is a blue thing. Uh, to, uh, One of the biggest things with Sonic and Team Up Sonic is uh, these little uh, golden buttons right here where I circled they're gonna be like right on the like on the right and the left side of his neck but it's not gonna be in the middle of it if that makes sense I have a plush so of Team Mom Sonic shut up <laughs> <laughs> someone <laughs> asked um how did you come up with the Team Mom series uh that will be well I, I answered that before generally Team Mom is a series that I made up with uh years ago uh it's kind of a story that i didn't expect to even happen but uh i've planned it out early on but uh generally it's it's i don't know honestly like generally i just wanted to tell a sonic story that had sonic Tales silver but anyways <laughs> back to this real quick so Sonic's apparently people can't hear you they can't hear me both Memphis and another said they couldn't hear you. And... Uh oh. Yeah, oh Fantasy Vader has said that it repeatedly that that cannot hear you. Okay. So I'm not sure of the rest. People do. I turned up my mic a little bit. I don't know if that helped. Because I literally just saw someone asking if I was British. I was like, <sighs> yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> Can you guys hear me fine now? I'm so sorry. Can you guys hear me? I can hear yeah. you. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, wait, wait, are you asking us or the audience? Both of you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, I can <laughs> Okay, cool. Can um, everyone hear you? All right, so to continue with this, so <clears throat> I'm just like using the Team on Plus as an IRL example, as well as having the example here. The whole point of this is reference, right? Son Team Mom Sonic has literally very little differences from actual Sonic. Um, the most important, of course, being his amulet. His amulet um, is one of those weird things. Let me... Oh no, my chair is stuck. 
So T Mom Sonic's gonna sit here with us while we draw. But one of the biggest things with Sonic's amulet is that it's like a solid um like it's not just a normal circle, but it's an actual like three-dimensional circle with almost like it was cut um out of it. Like it's not just a pure round circle, if that makes sense. Um but it, it's like that so that way uh, Sonic, like, they can rest on Sonic comfortably and it doesn't slide off or, uh, you know, get damaged in battle very easily. So it's a pretty thick amulet as well. Uh, and I think with that, I think we're ready to start sketching. If everyone's got the materials, if everyone's ready. Does anyone yep. have any questions before I continue, though? I want to hear... Uh, somebody asked, who's your favorite hedgehog? <laughs> that has nothing to do with drawing! But my favorite hedgehog is Sonic Shadow Silver. Okay. Anyways. Oops. <laughs> down the law. Someone else asked how long you've been planning, Team Mom. Oh, for a while. Like maybe 10 years, maybe longer. Who knows? I don't keep track anymore. Like it's nothing. Look, once you get used to doing something for so long, what's the point of time? Am I right? <laughs> What is this concept of time you speak of? Alright, so I'm guessing since no one has any drawing questions, um, I think I'm just gonna move on to the actual drawing portion of the video. So, <clears throat> once you have something out, one of the things that I personally like to do is I like to go zoom in to the right and I figure out like, just real quick, I start with the head or whatever, and I make really quick little sketches called thumbnails. Very, very rough drawings of the character. And I figure out, like, what his pose is going to be in this sketch, like, the actual final sketch that I'm doing. Thumbnails are a really good way. They're basically practice sketches um, for the actual main drawing that you want to do. So, I think I want Sonic to... Let's see. I think I want him to... Maybe have like a little more flowy because it's Team Mom Sonic, so he's got a bit of a, a little oomph going on, you know what I'm saying, fellas? Alright, uh, question is, uh, Nancy asks, what brush do you use to color? So, I'm using Clip Studio Paint to draw with. Um, I'm using the Real G Pen for my sketching. A lot of people use the um, different programs. I'm using a Cintiq 22, a, uh, Cintiq 24 Pro. And um, it's an actual monitor tablet that I can draw on. And I'm using the program Clip Studio Paint as well to draw with. But what I'm gonna be trying to go over is actually like stuff that you can draw even in, in like a normal sketchbook. Like it's really just basic stuff. So with that, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what pose I want him to do. But I have no idea. Memphis is asking for the 06 pose. The 06 pose. That's such a bland pose. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Actually, you know, I kind of really like this one. I've got a question for you. So whenever you're doing um, any of the characters specifically, do you have a custom, uh, like, color palette? Or do you just pick for all um, from the color wheel? Like I pick with whatever is closest to what I want. Uh... So I really like this thumbnail right now, and when I'm coloring, which we'll get to in a little bit, um, generally I color Team Mom Sonic, and his reference you'll see it too. Team Mom Sonic, his fur is naturally a lot lighter than normal Sonic. Like I color it to where it's like a, like a pastel blue, like it's sort of close to this. Um, and it's not like the royal blue Sonic, which is close to this, if that makes sense. So, right. with that, <clears throat> let's go on with the actual sketch. So, I want Sonic to, I guess, be like, he's like semi-running, but it gives us a chance to also see his cape in action, because um, I personally like seeing his cape flow around. It's really fun to draw. So, let's start with that. So, once you got your reference image and you know what Sonic is supposed to look like, I personally, when I like actually start sketching, I start with the body first. Some people start with the head first, um, but what I find is when you start with the head, 
Um, you don't really know what the rest of the body's going to be, and then you draw the rest of the body, and then you have to reposition the head. Uh, and it just saves time for me to get the pose right the first time. So that's why I just draw with the body first. And generally... Okay, sorry, what? Uh, some people are asking how do you draw hands? Do you have any tips? Oh, <clears throat> um, when we get to hands, I'll show you guys in a second, but generally... Hands are uh, a thing that everybody has to overcome. <laughs> um, generally, I, uh, there's different ways to draw hands, but um, one of the ways... I I'll show you one of the ways through this drawing specifically. But Hands are the bane of every artist. Yeah, true. But this is Sonic's body that we start with. Um, and it's hard to tell at first. It looks like a bee. Sonic's body in general is kind of just split into a few parts. Some people draw it where um, it's kind of like one big circle, like, or, well, not circle, more of an oval, and then another oval. And then you connect the two and make that his body. Uh, Alpha and... of Neo asked what inspired the design of the main crew. I have no idea. I just really wanted the hedgehogs and capes. I'm being real. <laughs> <laughs> so, the body itself, though, is like a basically like a bee. It just, all it is, is just a, it's like a bead bag, you know? You just, all you're doing is moving the bead bag around, and it kind of looks something like this if you want to try to draw with shapes. Um, next, I draw his belly in this sketch primarily because... I get an idea of where, like, he's positioning at. So that way I know, okay, his head, because his chest is going forward, his head's gonna go forward, his arms are probably gonna slouch back, his legs are gonna be out more up front, stuff like that. Which is basically what we want, at least for this sketch, because uh, Sonic's gonna be kind of going forward a little bit. Right, so this And generally, you want to have a volumetric understanding of where the knees and the um, calves separate. Sorry, go ahead. I, no, I was just saying, uh, oh, where's it gone now? There were, uh, Je I think it was uh, Jessica Shrum was asking what are you... Wait, what did you say? They were asking what tablet are you using? A Cintiq Pro 24 inch. <clears throat> and it's gonna be kind of... Um, by the way, notice um, something that's interesting about Sonic's legs is that um, generally Sonic characters, I'm going to quickly draw a sketch here, their legs, uh, I'm going to do a front facing view actually so that way you guys can get a better idea. So this is a front, front view of Sonic and generally their legs are like here. Like, they start here. There's an echo going on, guys. There's a... So it starts right the same place that you you would draw legs. The difference is Sonic has a bit of a gap between his uh, thighs, which is why there's a lot of space here. And actually, a lot of times I get this wrong, so... Apologies! <laughs> that was not the eraser, that was the zoom button. <laughs> Actually, I'll keep that up for you guys to reference, but I'm going to do the other leg for now. Someone asked if the noodle arms are cooked or uncooked. Uh, un? Not like uncooked, but definitely not fully cooked. Like, it's not rigid. Like, this is not... Like, like, when you're doing legs, or sonic legs, generally, you don't want them to look too noodly. Because it gonna, it's gonna look like this. Hang on, let me... Okay, yeah. It's gonna look like this. And that's not what modern Sonic, at least, looks like. And especially with Team Mom Sonic. There's Sonic freaking out because he has legs. You want him to have a unique sense of dimension and form. So it's not necessarily perfectly, like, straight, 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 because then that's too rigid. 
You want to have some form of fluidity, but structure. So that's what I mean by that. Here's so. a question for you. What's up, fam? Uh, Nancy... Keep his name wrong. Nancy Hygarida asks, How long does it take you to finish one comic page? Takes a long time, believe it or not. Sometimes several days. But I might hey, be getting star. some extra uh, Oh, there's a there's, uh, star in the chat. Hey, star. <laughs> Oh, um, Lola. So that's kind of the thing. So because this leg is being bent back, you notice how like because we're going forward, the volume makes it to where we're getting a little bigger um, with our cylinder. Because that's what these legs are. Uh, they're noodle cylinders. That totally isn't confusing, right? <laughs> but it's the same thing here. So you're just basically connecting. You're basically having the cylinder point away. And usually, because of perspective and everything, <clears throat> when you have a cylinder or a leg or an arm of any kind, when it's pointing away from something, it's going to get smaller. But, of course, when something is closer to you, it gets bigger. That's how pers general perspective works. And you apply that to the actual body here. <laughs> so... Boy asks, how do you develop the plotline for your stories? Uh... A lot of it's just planning. I mean... I don't know, I mean, I just... I usually try to share my ideas with other people, and I share my drugs with other people, and... Usually, by doing that, I get feedback, I get an idea of if, like, what I'm doing is working or not. Right now, I'm adjusting the legs right now, because it's kind of wonky. There we go. So, <clears throat> by the way, I'm going to be doing a lot of resizing. Um, so, if that happens a lot as well, don't worry about it, fellas. Also, thank you very much, Chris the Ratatou, Rabbit and Chichilla. <laughs> thank you. So, <laughs> now, what I personally like to do next, on top of legs, is I do his shoes, or his feet, rather. Sonic's feet, um, we're not gonna get weird here and just talk about random Sonic feet. I'm just gonna erase this here. Hey, Joseph in the chat as well. Oh, wow! And Joseph here, too! <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> That's uh, nice seeing you guys. Oh, yeah. I'm just teaching an art lesson, don't mind me. Um, if you guys see the new voice actors in the chat, make sure to say hi to them. But... With Sonic feet in general, or Sonic shoes, they're very much like that. They look like a really basic race car, almost. Um... If you look at classic Sonic designs, it's very much similar to this. Um, it's not like a like a foot that <clears throat> actually, it's not like a human foot that's got a crap ton of you know dimensionality and whatever, and has ankles and stuff. Like, there's no body parts within the Sonic characters that mimic that of a human. It's all cartoon and simplified. So generally, like, let's say if Sonic's, uh, foot is exposed. In T-Bomb, uh, Mobians have three toes. Except Sonic. Sonic's got a, well, one of the, his toes is missing, but whatever. We don't need to talk about that. No, smart, so I don't think it's pizza feet. Not pizza feet. Um, but, like, there's Sonic's feet right here. I'm just gonna put some bullet wounds that way. You know it's his. Alright, there's a question. Uh, Angelique Williams asks, Hey DG, when you get to Sonic's head, can you demonstrate how you grow his clothes, like falling and all that? Of course, I can. Uh, so generally Sonic's feet is very much like this, though. I'm being as specific as I can, because I want to make sure you guys get this, by the way. <clears throat> but yeah. Generally, Sonic's feet, it needs to be kind of almost squarish, but it does have dimensionality in it. And of course, when you have a shoe on, there's always going to be 
parts to it, you know, like, generally this is how I draw my shoes, is I have like a little hole here and a square and then... It's like a perspective grid. And that's kind of how you make a shoe. Generally, everyone makes feet slash uh, shoes differently. Excuse me. <sighs> but for this case, we're gonna do this. We're gonna draw this really weird square, off square thing. So that way we have a sense of where the heck his foot is gonna be. And I'm gonna try to not screw up his leg. And what I just did is I'm adding volume. So you know how like in his legs, there's like cylinders and stuff on it. It's kind of similar here. There's, except um, it's more like a boat shaped, but it's flattened out. So it's kind of like, this is the, this is what his shoe looks like. It's basically just a boat. If you've ever drawn a boat. <clears throat> Apparently, Smuts wants to know if he has noodle arms. Now, why not pizza feet? Oh my gosh. He does not have pizza feet. No pizza! <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, we can also do the same here. <coughs> A lot of the shoe-related stuff, too, is also um, something that you honestly learn by drawing shoes and stuff. Actually, let me make his feet a bit bigger, because they're kind of small here. Yeah. So it's about, Big like, that size. <laughs> well, because he's in, it's in front of us, it's definitely going to be bigger. And let me fix up his feet, because even though it's getting bigger, it doesn't mean that there's... No, Eagle, you cannot have pizza. All right, and then I do the same with his other foot here. I do the start here. It, it's just, it's kind of like like that's kind of what I do uh, with the like back of his heel right here. Is I draw the back of his heel, which kind of looks like that. If you ever look at the um, back of your own shoe, that's what it looks like from your heel, and I that's where I start with. I start with Sonic's heel, and I go all the way out. So, and I do the little boat thing that I was talking about earlier and have his foot ready. Granted, this is a little wonky, so let me alter his pose just a teeny bit so that way his legs are not driving themselves up too much. Uh, you know what? Actually, let me... Yeah. So I'm gonna do this instead. That way it's not, like, driving up too much. I might change this pose later. Probably. Sorry, I'm a bit of a perfectionist myself. I warned you guys saying that asking for a tutorial is just gonna get GG commentating on their own stuff. But... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I, I, I need to stop fooling around. Okay. The next thing I do is I do Sonic's back quills and tail. So the reason why I do that is because I get a sense of where his body's going. His quills are pretty easy. Um, this is like a Sonic blush that you can use for reference if you'd like. But generally, Sonic's quills are kind of like shark fins, but like a little more curly. So generally, you can imagine Sonic's back spikes being like a curled up killer whale fin or something. And his tail always goes up. Apparently. According to his on-model things. Sorry, that's oh, all right. Right. You ask, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you make a dynamic? Next scene. The first thing that comes to mind, uh, usually when you're drawing a comic, it depends on what the script calls for. So let's say when Sonic was tainted, right? Um, generally, you're not gonna have tainted Sonic. <laughs> Someone's probably gonna scream at this. You're not gonna have tainted Sonic, like, I'm just getting a new canvas, just, you know, he's 
slouching around, and he's just like, you know, super quick sketchy. Just being like, hey guys, what's up? You know, like... Okay, so there was a question by Crystal Frost. Uh, hey Gigi, I actually have a question relating to comics. How do you draw the panel with the background of the page? I kept on getting frustrated with making a panel and background, so how does it... Uh, I'll figure that out real quick after I answer this. But notice how, by the way, Tainted Sonic, he should not look like this at all. Like, obviously the script calls for Tainted Sonic being way more intense. You know, he is like anger, he is frustration, he is just... And you can use your own face as reference too, honestly. You could be like, ah! And like, just, you know, shark teeth, and then he gets angry and... Like, that's a little better in the sense of a Tainted Sonic expression. Because dynamic posing is about the facial expression, the body, how everything is being conveyed in the best way possible. I'm still learning it personally. I'm not an, in any way a super big expert on it. But regardless, let's move on to Sonic. Um, I'll answer some comic- uh, I'll answer some other comic book questions um, in a bit. But for now, I kind of want to get started on Sonic's head because I think that's going to be a common question you guys are going to have anyways. So Pineapple let's... on pizza is the best. No, it's not. Ugh. Also, that has nothing to do with what we're doing, Cyril. All right. So let's say you got the Sonic body figured out. As you can see, I'm delaying hands and arms as much as possible. I'm a coward, and I fully admit that. So, let's start with the head. I mean, I think we're all cowards when it comes to hands. So, so, a Sonic head is really interesting, and it's something that I studied while looking at Sonic 3D models. So, Sonic heads in general, um, and this is probably something that you guys are really going to want to know. So, listen up. A Sonic heads in general, they are a type of circle. But, when you look at the 3D model specifically, there's going to be a weird sense of misconception because generally, a lot of people think that this is how you draw Sonic characters. You draw it where you're following these guidelines or sketch marks and the entire face fills up the circle. Um, but that is not the way you should do it. And here is why. The reason a lot of people do this is because this is how a lot of concept artists for Sonic do it, and, and a lot of other professional artists do it as well. For me though, what I find always helps me get on model for Sonic, especially his head, is when I make this circle, okay, I create a second circle and the reason why is because three-dimensionality of Sonic characters, they have sides of their face as well. And so when you're doing a type of three-quarter turn, oh, and then also the circle goes entirely around their face. So it's actually more like this. Let me get a different color for that. How would you go about making a comic? I suppose. Um. Story and art and this and the other. I'm gonna answer that when I'm coloring, if that's okay. Just because I kind of want to get the drawing portion figured out first, and then I'll answer I some comic book uh, related questions probably when I start coloring because that takes a while. <laughs> but um, let me focus on the head first. So notice I have. The guidelines that I drew before, which was here previously, it's still there, but I added two extra mini circles right here. And the reason for that is because these guidelines help center Sonic's muzzle and eyes. So something that I li really like about this particular model is when you're drawing his face, 
you actually make it more, it looks something like this. You know where his muzzle is going to stop at, where it's going to start, and then where it's going to stop at again. Where his eyebrows are going to start. And then where his eyebrows more than likely are going to stop. Granted, you can also adjust it if it's like too wide. But you get the idea. Head might be a little too big right here. So I didn't make a great circle. But it looks something like that. And... The rest of the circle is um, his where his ears are at. So when you're doing his eyebrows or whatever. The rest of his um, circle exhibits and is placement for his ears. So something like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing for his head. I'm going to be making something like that. So let me draw his head. So what was the question about the comic? Oh, just um, what the question I brought up. Oh, what was the question? I can't remember. Oh, it, it, uh, generalization of how, 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 how would one uh, go about making their own comic? For Sonic or just um, a general story? Like a general... In general. I think it's just in general. Um, honestly, just doing it is really important. Like, just... Honestly, it sounds like weird just saying this. Just do it. Like, I mean, one of my Shia LaBeouf. But it is true. A lot of times when you're um, when you're dealing with comics and stories and whatnot, you really want to know first off what it is you want to tell. Like my main motivation with T Mom is I wanted to introduce a story that had just Sonic Shadow Silver. But it also in introduced the theme of overcoming something so impossibly, insanely impossible. I mean, it's relatable because generally, how many times have you felt like you have had to overcome something that honestly felt impossible to overcome? I mean, it's the same uh, basis here. So I think starting with what is you even want to talk about and tell is a good start. Um, all right, so the one that uh, Crystal Frost had was, uh, how do you draw the panels with the background of the page? And um, yeah, Wait, so getting... does she want to know how to draw backgrounds, or does she want to know how to draw comic book panels? Uh, the panels over the background, I believe. Backgrounds? Wait, panels over background, what does that mean? It uh, means, like, you, like, drawing the background, and then how do you place the panels to work within the page and show the background of the page along with it. It's so like, how, how you, yeah, how do you format your comic page? Well, first, let me go make Sonic's body way smaller because it's bigger than I thought. Race sizing and perfectionism, Gigi's favorite thing to do. I mean, it, it helps to, like, see, like, things that are, um, that aren't quite right and fix them while you're working on the initial sketch. So like when, if you go forward with it and do lining and things like that, you already have it the way you want it to look. So. Yeah. yeah. I keep forgetting exactly. that with the circle and everything, they get bigger. Sonic foot then needs to be way bigger. Someone asked, just... huh? someone asked what motivated you to start the comic. Uh, like I said, I just really wanted to tell a story about Sonic Shadow Silver. I love Sonic Shadow Silver stuff, personally. A uh, quick one. Um, any tips for the eyes if one would add emotions to it? Like if someone wanted to make Sonic look stern or things like that? Um... Generally, when you're doing his face, um, something that you can do and something that I do recommend you do is <clears throat> playing around with his eyebrows. So generally, Sonic's eyebrows are, uh, you know, when you draw your circle and you draw your guy, 
his eyebrows right here are like your main focus on where he emotes. So you know how like humans have their own eyebrows? It's the same thing goes for Sonic. So when Sonic's feeling, I don't know, upset or something, or, you know, surprised, his eyebrows tell everything. You know, that's surprise right there. Even though, granted, that's a really big thing right there. That's a uh, surprise. Maybe this could be like sadness when his eyes do this. Or embarrassment. Everything, everything that you use with emotions has to do with his eyebrows. So, generally, if you check out my Patreon, I post stuff like this a lot. So, I hope that helped a little bit. But generally, his eyebrows are where you want to know, like, where you want to emote at the most. And of course, you know, practicing through looking at facial expressions you make is also just as important. I'm erasing this. Oh, yeah. All right, a uh, quick question related to, like, how you format the comic pages. Um, how would you recommend going about the flow of the page? Like, how you can set your panel so you can get it to look good, and not, like, chaos or blank? Uh, generally, like I showed you before, uh, thumbnails are extremely good at planning out. So generally, when you're doing a comic book page, you know, um, you have to write out a script first off on what you want to do, and then figure out, okay, page one. Usually page one of a comic is always going to have to have an establishing shot, so something like a city, and then a zoom in of a character. I mean, it's kind of like when you're watching a movie, or if you ever have studied storyboarding, really, really good stuff. And um, I'm also kind of putting in some Sonic eyes here. Generally, Sonic eyes, by the way, are pretty easy to manage, because generally they're just a oval and then another oval inside of it and you just color inside of it and if you're ever unsure you can always just use a tool or something like that but i do it by hand personally now here's the thing with sonic's eyebrows so sonic's eyebrows when you ever when you notice that um in the reference photos um Sometimes I draw Sonic's eyebrows where it, like, has a continuous ridge. His eyebrows are connected to his quills. So it's important to note, like, okay, if he's facing to the side, then more than likely we're not going to see the lining of his quills. We're just going to see his eyebrow muscles, and that's it. Speaking of his quills, I'm probably going to adjust the body a little bit more because I don't like the body proportions. <laughs> I think it's actually, like... Ellie, I'm not By the way, should we um, should we bring in Starlight? Sure. All right, so here, I'll add him to the call. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, when you guys see speed paints and stuff, all I do is adjust. I'm a very big profession perfectionist, and I readjust things as I go. All the frickin' time I do this. Okay. Ugh! Alright, there we go. Let me actually put his tail higher up. There we go. So, Sonic's Quills. Let's say you got to this point of the drawing. You've readjusted as much as I have. I'm so great at tutorials, guys. <laughs> Let's say you've adjusted this point in the uh, in the actual drawing process, and you want to get into drawing Sonic's quills. So something about Sonic's quills that is so freaking hard to master, it's something that it's like I personally have to like look at reference photos to get right. His quills um, are layered in a unique way. Generally, um, if you ever look at a Sonic action figure, Sonic plush. Or just anything Sonic related. Ah, uh, Star joined us. Here oh, hi, come. Star! Hey, how's it going? Hi, Star. Hi. Star, by the way, is our voice actor for Silver. Hello there, Silver. What's up? Oh, uh, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? 
Doing well, doing well. I <laughs> All right. <laughs> Silver, would you like to know a fun fact about Sonic's quills? I would like to know a fun fact about Sonic's quills. Cool. So, I don't know if you guys see the render of uh, that T-Mom Sonic render that Nabrock did. I'm going to try to see if I can... Uh... Hopefully... Okay. I'm going to try to pull up a render that he actually did of T-Mom Sonic, because I think it'd be great reference for you guys, personally. Um, but generally... Did I not save it? I don't think I did. <laughs> generally speaking, when you're doing uh, Sonic pulls, he has, like, a total of, like, three, six, seven, eight quills, I believe. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And so, when you're... There we go. This is a really good picture. So, there's a 3D render of Team Mom Sonic right here. And you notice that the way that his quills are drawn, or the way that his quills are even put in, is it's layered on top of each other. And so... His bottom layer of his quills will be going first. And generally, based on looking at this, his quill starts where his eye ridge, like in the middle-ish of his eye ridge. So I say probably here is where I'd start. And I would not recommend doing it like this. I wouldn't do it like this. You want to make it to where it's long enough to where it actually looks like it's a solid piece of quilt, but it's not Silver's hair. Like, Silver's hair is looks a lot like this, where it's the whole freaking thing is taken up, you know, or something crazy like that. Like, he's not Silver. Um, he's Sonic, and Sonic's got shorter quills. Yeah. Apparently. Of course, and again, and I'd recommend checking out this 3D render of Team Mom Sonic if you really want to have some good uh, reference. Um, this guy's name is Debrock. I favorited his stuff. It should be my favorites gallery in my DeviantArt. Um, or you could just search up 3D Render of Sonic. Should be pretty easy to find. But, when you look at his quills specifically, they're layered on top of each other. I'm so good at giving tutorials. I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> um, are, are, are we making any voice requests? Um... I was well. The point of this is like I'm trying to uh, teach everyone how to draw, but I could do voice requests when I'm doing the more tedious stuff, which is line arting and uh, coloring. So for now, I'm doing the drawing stuff, and then we'll go from there if that's okay. No, no, it's just someone's asking uh, Starlight to uh, do something in silver. Oh. Oh, you have to pay to do voice requests, sillies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It Question from Alpha Wolf Neo, a action comic question. When it comes to impact scenes and the transformation, and transformation show off scenes, what is the first thing you think of? Like transformation scenes being like supersonic or something? Uh, like, yeah, like, um, no, Sonic transforming into Tim Sonic. I mean, generally, I personally like to have a transformation mean something. Um, when you're telling a story of any kind, you don't want to just transform immediately too soon because then it cheapens the effect. And the whole point of Sonic transforming at all is it showcases and it's a visual symbol that we've reached the climax of the story. So when Sonic goes super, that means we have hit the end point of that story. You know, some people, uh, they prefer like, oh, if Sonic goes like ultra rare, like this is ultra rare Super Sonic right here. You know, just, this is Sonic with his body, and then here's Ultra Rare Super Sonic 7. I mean, when you have that, that's a little ridiculous. Like, you want to have a transformation that means something. Like, would you rather have Sonic have more hair, or would you rather have Sonic transform into something like Super Sonic and mean it? Or have uh, him ta turn into Tainted Sonic and feel his anger and frustration? Like, you know, when you look at Tainted Sonic... Just gonna give him little eyelashes. It, his design is simple. It's not over. It's not all over the place. <laughs> it's actually like you know. It actually makes sense to his design. It's beautiful. Do you like uh, yeah. my ultra son ultra uh, Sonic Saiyan Master <laughs> Ultra? 
plus times with the 27 times 27 and knuckles, and knuckles. <laughs> knuckles. <laughs> seven heck yeah i love sonic sonic and That's so <laughs> would you rather have that or would you rather have a character like I'm, and i'm using tainted sonic by the way as an example i'm not saying tainted sonic is the perfect representation of that i'm just saying from my experience so, I hope that answered your question. Let's go back to drawing Sonic now, because we just finished up his quills, and now we get to start the worst part. And what you guys asked earlier, which is drawing his stupid hands. <laughs> oh, I'm going to draw his socks first, because I forgot to do that. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands! <laughs> Let's see... And I'm gonna add the little details of his shoes right here. Let's see. Pretty render of Sonic, I think, has no, he doesn't have the bottom of the shoes. But it's like literally the exact same thing as Sonic shoe stuff. He's got a buckle on the outside. Fun fact, Sonic's buckle is always on the outside of his shoe, never the inside. Found that out the hard way. And the bottom of his shoe is just nothing but running shoe marks. <laughs> Trying to delay the inevitable because I don't want to draw his stupid hands. I actually really like the the bottom design of his shoes, like how they were in 06. They looked really cool. Like the way looked... Yeah, I really like it too. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I think this body I think might be a little too big. Whatever. It doesn't matter right now. I'll edit it as I go. So now we get to do the worst part. I gotta draw his arms now. Before we draw his arms, let's make sure everything's on model and right. So. Prepare for the noodles. I'm gonna do a thing where I just color the whole thing in. Because then I'm gonna get a better sense of what it looks like. Also, I'm running out of colors. And then I'm adding little black placements, that way I know what that's going to look like when I ink it. And I think I'm going to extend his leg just a tiny bit. Because I think it's kind of ugly looking. <laughs> okay, that's as good as I think I'm going to get it. Okay, so let's go with the arms, fellas. So... I made a new layer on top of the sketch layer <laughs> because I literally did not want to... I don't... I, I'm gonna mess up all this other artwork and I'm just not ready for it. So... <clears throat> I vary between what I do. Sometimes I straight up just draw the hands like this and then find a way to connect them. Not the greatest way to do it though, but it is the way to, I do it. But because we got a pre-sketch done over here, I know what his arms are going to look like, so I'm going to do that. So when you're drawing his arms similarly to how you draw his legs, find out first off where his arms are going to start. And then... Go from there. You know, draw your cylinders. I mean, sonic arms are basically noodle arms. Draw your noodles. Draw your noodles! Let's yeah. see, Sonic Make has noodle, noodly. noodle and a banana-shaped mouth. That's how I've always seen it. Sonic got like a banana mouth. Yeah, his, his muzzle is kind of a banana-shaped, huh? <laughs> banana mouth. Banana mouth. Yeah. Noodle arms. Lemon eyes. Banana, banana, banana mouth. The hedgehog, noodle yes. Mouth. Noodle arms. Noodle mouth, noodle arms. Let's see, I'm gonna move his arm this way. I am... Gonna do his arms. Okay, so hands. <clears throat> so hands in general are pretty complex and annoying. Generally, the way that I draw hands, and I'm not a perfect master at it, um, but hands are basically, when you look at your hand, you notice that it's a basic square, right? So you want to draw a basic square let's say, in an angle or whatever. Not a perfect square, but a square nonetheless. Um, and then you notice that on your fingers, you have a bit of an arc on where your fingers start. So, draw the arc. 
Not Noah's Ark, just the Ark. I was thinking Space Colony, but that works too. Hey, Space Colony Ark! <laughs> <laughs> so the Ark on your fingers, and then when you split your, fing uh, your hand down the middle, you notice that your thumb takes like the biggest portion of your freaking hand. So it's... You're gonna have a section just for your thumb. And the way I do it is I do like this thing where it's kind of like, it's like, not like that. It's like I take a line and then I do something like that. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you because I'm not the greatest with it, but let's see, let's start here. Yes, Smuts. Folded arms are pretzel arms. So, I don't know if you notice like, what I'm doing here, but it's basically the same thing. I'm splitting my thumb into several parts. And because it's Sonic, you're simplifying the thumb. You better be taking notes. This is on the test! <laughs> <laughs> is it an open note test? No! Darn it! And yep. it'll make up 99% of your grades. Exactly. <clears throat> Alright, so... Next is your fingers. So, fingers I screw up with all the freaking time, and sometimes I draw the square way too, like, long and not, like, squ like squanched enough. So generally my fingers come out kind of gross. But this is kind of what I do personally. Um... Uh, I'm gonna get the shapes out of the way first. It's easier for me. And you wanna do that. Fallon asked, GT, are you able to draw the Sonic characters freehand without using guidelines? Uh, no. I need guidelines, for sure. Um, I don't use as many guidelines as uh, I'm doing here. So, like, this is a volume-esque related things, so usually your hands, your fingers, they all follow these lines. <clears throat> each of your- each finger is split up into three sections, and of course this section here is a lot bigger than the section here, and then the section here. Same thing goes here. So on and so forth. A lot of hand study went into the making of this tutorial. But it's basically just building cinder blocks on top. I mean, not cinder blocks, cups on top of each other, honestly. But that is a basic way of understanding hands, is looking at it this way. Thumbs in general are pretty easy because they're the things that stick out. It's the rest of the fingers, in my opinion, that you have to worry about, especially your stupid pinky. Because somehow your pinky always has to exist, and it's the- Like, I swear to you, that's the reason why hands are so hard, is because you have a pinky. Like, pinkies in general, it's like, you do the rest of the hand, you're like, wow, I'm so great! And then you try to fit in the pinky, and it's like, where do you go? You know? Like, anyways, way yeah. over about my hands. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, how do you draw crossed arms? Uh... Usually, I have to find a reference photo for that one, but generally, with Sonic characters, they technically cannot cross their arms. I'd say find photo reference, but I mean, like, like cross your arms yourself and feel it, you know? Like, when you cross your arms, do you hold your hands like this, or do you do it like this, you know? Like... <clears throat> I think it would also help if you maybe, like, look at yourself in the mirror and yeah. cross your arms. Like to see where your hands and where your arms are. So we're gonna do Sonic hands on this main sketch right here. And we're gonna do a three-dimensional square. So you notice how, like, I did the square before? Your hand is literally just that. It's just a three-dimensional semi-rectangle, but mostly square. square. So that's why a lot of times... A lot of times I draw like that. It looks like he has freaking checkerboard boxes for hands. <laughs> Same thing goes for here. So, 
kind of like how I showed you to do the thumb. You start right here, where it's in the middle of the square. You split the mirror in the middle, and then you draw the thumb out, like so. So, if you want to draw the whole thing dimensionally, kind of like you're drawing a box, split it, and then do your thumb here, that's one way of doing it. Autophobia is asking, will the stream be uploaded after it is done? Yeah, it, this is going to be available. <laughs> Of course it is, like, I, I definitely would not just give you guys a stream and then not give this to you. No. Learn how to draw Sonic for a limited time to only. Double check. How to draw Sonic for a limited time only! Because a good handful of people uh, do... ...in the making of one available for the general public. That's okay. Yeah, this is definitely going to be available. Like I said, this is a series that I really want to do. And I'm also drawing his, uh gloves things first because it helps figure out like okay this is what his gloves are gonna look like <clears throat> i'm gonna draw his mouth too um all right let's go get his knuckles yeah by the way your fingers when you draw it facing another way one of the biggest things that helps you guide where your fingers are going to start are your knuckles because generally your knuckles uh, knuckles! <laughs> They're gonna be starting right there. Knuckles. And usually your fingers and start from your knuckles. So there's my gross hand right there. But you get the idea. It's kind of like the same concept here. Let's see. Like I said, I'm not like great at hands either. A pizza box with circles. A pizza box with circles, exactly. I mean, that's a good way to put it, because, you know, just think about drawing a box and then drawing the shape on top of it, and that can help you get the hand down so you can just draw the pizza. And then there's Knuckles's knuckles that are basically just giant cones because he's wearing. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Let's see, I think his arm is like that. Yeah, that works. I think I might actually separate his thumb just a teeny bit because I don't think I drew the square Yeah, something like that. So something like that. And then, of course, this is going to be probably complex. When you're doing force shortening, um, you notice, by the way, that when we do cylinders, we use perspective. Um, all of this is basically just shapes that you're putting in perspective. <clears throat> and that's kind of the same thing for Sonic here. So, let's, because he's foreshortening, I'm going to draw out where his fingers are going to be. And then, where his fingers are going to start. And go from there. And then erase those sketches. And I hope, by the way, all this makes sense. This thumb's a little small. Usually you can tell, by the way, um, something that I personally do with fingers is when I like have my fingers spread out, like so, I can usually tell, uh, by the way, like, First off, fingers are never straight, perfect like this. They're always going to have like a triangle shape, almost. Because your middle finger is, you know, the longest finger of your hand. That always comes, and the tallest point. Your index finger and your ring finger are basically the same size. And then your pinky is basically the smallest finger you have. And then if you always are wondering, well, how do I know if my hand looks right? Outside of just looking at your own hand... You can also measure the distance between your thumb and your index finger. And if your thumb, you always know if your thumb is too small or your fingers are too wide. If the measurement from your uh, right, uh, from your pointer finger to your thumb, if it doesn't make like a triangle in some way, and it like kind of makes a like a like if it doesn't make like a 
semi like like very very loose right angle triangle um when you're doing like just flat out straight up if it doesn't connect in some way like that's something that i personally learned at least like if it doesn't connect in some way or it doesn't line up in some way usually that's because the hand is not correctly drawn i don't know if any of that made sense oh my gosh it does. okay um, I need to erase all these doodles because I gotta start doing my favorite part of the drawing. So basically, with all that out of the way, erasing all these notes, I hope you guys took these notes down because it's all part of the quiz. All the fun is a quiz? Yes. <laughs> And it will take up 99% of your my pencil case. No. That's okay. We have extras. <laughs> so, something that's wrong with this picture right now is Sonic's pretty off balance in a sense that his legs, like his still, his right leg is a little too short. So I'm going to extend it real quick. And I'm going to make his shoe just a little bit bigger. And of course, oh, a quick question from uh, Blue Wolf. Hey, Gigi, when lining digitally, what brush do you recommend? And what do you recommend for conditioning? I recommend the cleaner the brush and the more high definition brush, the better. So I prefer, like, uh, Cliff Studio Paint, they have this thing called the Real G Pen. I like it a lot because I can, it looks really, really nice. Um, some people like the normal g-pen but the reason why i don't like the normal g-pen is because it doesn't look as high quality as this like to the right you notice that line a lot more than you notice the one on the left but it's also totally your preference everyone does inking differently like i knew a person that i used to uh, go to school with he would ink with calligraphy like that was the way that he inked and that's not something that i liked using so with your sketch done you can Honestly, I think it's time to line art. Um, I think that... Oh, duh! I need to draw his cape and necklace! I... <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot oh, Team Mom Sonics. It's, it's, <laughs> this is a clickbait stream. This is the game Sonic. Like, this is not Team Mom Sonic. <laughs> exactly. So, now here's the defining features of Team Mom Sonic is... His, um... It's like their buttons and they go over his shoulders and the amulet goes like so and uh it's like straight up looks like a button and then his cloth um if you notice on the plushie his cloth kind of like is puffed up because it's his cape like the buttons are obviously holding his cape so it's something like this And then, uh, I recommend when you're drawing capes, use reference, because generally, capes are very much, like, blanket-based. Like, if you have a blanket that you can use, uh, for reference photos, I recommend it, because it's really good. But I draw his cape where it's over his shoulder, because, um, his cape and cloth are still continuing. And then... I'm drawing his cape, which is just a big blanket, and usually you can tell that the cape is three-dimensional based on these little wavy things. These scribbles I just did, they're basically just wavy things. That's, that's the professional word for them, guys. And... What do you guys think, huh? Oh no. Are you talking to us or the audience? You! <laughs> oh! I can't like, believe ah, they ignored me, guys. Gosh. I was the jury you were talking to. Uh, I mean, yeah, looks cool. I'm Yay. a multiple yeah. artist, so it's like any imperfections. If you say there's an imperfection, I'll just take your word for it. <laughs> so... I'm a really big fan of the posing. I'm like, really that's big that big that I just... One thing that yes, I look at. Yes, Sammy, it is. Yeah, like when it comes to like drawing characters, 
I just love the poses because, like, the poses literally, like, you know, they, I guess, like, they present, like, all the characteristics that, you know, you know the character for, and seeing that Sonic's so energetic, I just, like, the pose really gives that away. So that's just, I'm really a fan of the pose a lot. Yeah, I really love the pose as well. <laughs> it's... Sonic's it's... a good boy. Yes. His amulet, by the way, I, I said it, like, a million times, but his amulet in itself wraps around his neck. So he's got a lot of things going on with this neck. And because he's kind of low-key, like, hopping around, like, that he's, he's kind of got the amulet going in motion with where he's jumping at. Um, also, uh, I think with that, we're done. Unless you guys want to do some god power, huh? You think Sonic should just have some god power going on? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah? Yeah. All right, so the way that I draw his markings... Here's a huge thing, okay? This is gonna be on the test. You draw his <laughs> markings like this, okay? Oh That's God. it. You do- you- you know, you, you draw it like that. You do not draw it like this. That is not how his eye markings work. His eye markings are tattoos. They are part of his skin. They do not flare out like his eyes are on fire. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's align art. Let's see. Ugh. Now that I'm gonna line art, I'm gonna be quiet. Voice actors, did you want to take any voice requests by this point? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, mine. <laughs> Did you want to? Do you want to do paid stage hour, or do you want to just do free voice requests for now? Um, I can just do free voice requests for now. Okay. Yeah. All right, fellas. So Silver, Antoine, Mogul, voice and Chaos are here. We tried to invite Shadow, but I think he's busy going to the bathroom. Um, <laughs> so you know how it be. <laughs> All right. All right. Time to line art this thing. Let's see. I'm putting it to where... If you have an eraser, by the way, I recommend erasing very, very lightly. If you want to get that sketch to still appear for you. So, I'm just... I just lowered the opacity for the sketch layers and then made a new layer for inking. <sighs> Here we go. I do not like this music. Ah! What? I have all these songs. Here we go. Don't look at my iTunes library. <laughs> ooh, right. ooh, ooh, sneaky pee. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are we allowed to ask them to voice at? What's the limit? Try to keep it to where it's not like total improv. Like I feel like if um we could do stage hour where it's like uh if they pay for improv that's one thing, but if it's just one line then I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah. Okay. One yet. <laughs> Hey Silver, what is it like having a Kazone at 117? Oh, um, well, having God Powers, it's very different because it's like a, it's like enhancing my own abilities, but I can do what I can do normally, but it's like more enhanced. It's really different, but I find it really cool. You're really cool, Silver. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks, Creator. I think you're really cool too, and I really like your drawing tutorial. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I think Where's Vader? He's not yeah. here right now. He's off and about on his own little adventure. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic and Shadow. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Oh I'm my sorry. gosh. Yeah. We got a we got a we got a request yes. and it's paid and it's an improv! Oh, what is it? <laughs> It, uh, star, do your eat your chair thing. 
Wait, wait. Is, is, is that a Sonic or Silver? <laughs> I, I think it's going to have to be a Silver. Gotcha. Okay. So I, I feel like you should just do more than improv. Like, you should totally improv Silver just eating his chair. Just, just like, you're eat you're going to eat your chair and no one can stop you, I guess. <laughs> Fine. Here we go. I'm going to get my ketchup. And my mustard. I'm gonna eat my chair. It's Silver, don't eat your chair. That's gross. No, it's 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 got a lot of fiber. It's great. It's hey, you know, I, I like you know. So far, chairs, Silver. Like, uh, chairs are for sitting on. They are not for eating. Well, th this chair is it's made out of chocolate. You see? What? So, chocolate. Kind of, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Excuse well, me. Son of Fifas. Um, well, my my stomach started rumbling, and I saw this chair and We have then... porridge in the fridge! But the porridge, it's, it's not the same as, it's not the same. It's like, okay. Oh, for goodness sake, you know what? I wash my hands. I wash my hands. So, that means, okay, if you're gonna wash your hands, does that mean that you're also going to eat a chair? Because, okay. So the chair that's in the corner, it's made out of chocolate, right? So say that the room gets really hot, it'll be melted chocolate. So then when I put it in a glass, and then I put milk in it, what does Disco! that mean? Disco! Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Chocolate milk! I love you milk. too. It's a win-win! Especially, especially, yeah, I'm slurring my words. Okay, it's only because I'm eating a chair, and I'm kind of, I guess I'm getting lightheaded? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're eating, eating way too much chocolate at once, dude. But it's a chocolate chair. It's great. No, it's not. You want a bite? No, I I, I can't have a bite. Silver, I'm lactose intolerant. Uh, well, I mean, I'm dairy intolerant. But if I find you a different dairy chair? and gluten, dairy and gluten. I, don't, okay, so... I think I'm, I'm also wood intolerant. I, I I don't know. I've never checked personally. So what if I found I... a dairy and gluten free and chair? Scientists. Why are you eating a chair? I don't understand. Well, why not? I don't take how to live your life. I know you have God's power, son of Jesus, but for the love, oh my goodness gracious, why you you? Hello? Well, maybe I wanted to try something new! Mm -hmm. no. You could have just asked me. I could have got you something new. Mm -hmm. Never mind yeah. you, it's between either Sol... What's the thing on here? got Sultanas and... Uh... Uh, well, never mind. Chair it is. <sighs> yeah! Well. Would you like to share the chair with me? Uh, no! Share the, share the chair. Yeah, you know, it, you know, it's like, okay, it's like when you go to this magical candy wonderland and then everything is filled with candy, so everything's edible, right? So it's that kind of chair. It's a chocolate, so if you sit in it, you know, it's gonna fall apart, because it's edible. This is it's starting edible. to sound like a Charlie the Unicorn situation. I was thinking more of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but that works too. All right. Uh, Royal Moon says, "Silver, please say it's no use." It's no use. I love it. Beautiful. <laughs> Time to get the caboose. I ran out of juice. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Can Silver do an evil laugh? An evil laugh. Didn't he do that in like the previous team mom plays? Oh, right. Uh that laugh what had happened was uh a lot of people when I when I lose my chocolate milk, uh, I guess I kinda lose it, I guess. So I didn't mean to freak anybody out or <laughs> kinda you say? Uh, well, I mean, somebody stole my chocolate milk. So, so you need an intervention. I, I think you need an intervention.
Hey, well, Silver. Guess oh. what I have? What do you have? Your chocolate milk. <gasps> no! You mean the last bottle of chocolate milk? <laughs> what? I oh. want you to give me my chocolate milk back. No, you can't have it! <laughs> Someone says, Silver, you're the best hedgehog. Take some chocolate milk. I just instantly calm down right afterwards. It's an instant thing. You have a problem, dude. I don't have a problem. I just really, really like chocolate milk. Great! So much that you're willing to kill people for it. No. I, I, kill them with kindness. It's a metaphor. It's not real. You are about to just kill me. A silver? Yes? You don't mind if I flush your chocolate milk down the sink, right? Why would you do that? And Tell me! I can. Do you not value your own life? <laughs> okay, okay, here, here, here's your, here's your chocolate milk. Also, I'm echoing in somebody's thing. Uh, that might be... Sorry, but um, Cyril, I, 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 you need to like, can, can, you need to like just, I don't know, man. Your 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 mic is just in your mouth, and it's <laughs> it's just kind of stuck there. I'm actually about a feet away from my mic. You're coming in kind of strong. <laughs> uh oh, we got requests. I'll give you chocolate milk back, Silver. Zylo says. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sorry, did I... Uh, I'm sorry if I yelled or anything, I didn't mean to raise my... No worries. Somebody said, um, is Zylo inspired by Cosmic Horror? If so, what franchise specifically? Zylo is inspired by Mephilus that was inspired by, uh... Nightmares I've had. <laughs> He's really not based off of any Eldritch horror that I know of. Celios and Hephus, however, are based off of Lovecraftian uh, monsters. Oh. What do you mean all? Silver, that's not an all thing. <laughs> hey, well. Real question for Silver. What happens if you accidentally drop your chocolate milk? Hmm. Well, if I accidentally dropped it, I guess I'd be really, really upset. I don't turn. I didn't mean to turn into a soulless by mistake. I didn't do that on purpose. See, I'm sorry if I yelled, but if I were to actually spill my chocolate milk, I guess I would just genuinely get really sad. Ugh. And angry, right? Well, I'd get angry at myself because it'd be, it'd be my own fault, you know? And, you know, I've got no one else to blame but myself. Because it just fell, and it's, it's just me. Ugh. Absolutely amazing. Alright. I altered some of his, uh his stomach related stuff but I think that's what was needed to be done anyways regardless did you guys have any other voice requests for silver and silver <laughs> for silver and silver and silver yeah I mentioned silver did I mention silver I, I, I think you I think you forgot silver you know, the triple S. Silver, silver, and silver. My and Knuckles. The, the K is... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Heck yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Silver, what type of chocolate uh, milk brand do you prefer? 
That's actually a good question. Hmm. Well, if I were to give you my honest answer, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, because guess what? Chocolate milk is chocolate milk. It all tastes the same, so I like them all. So you like any chocolate milk, even like terrible school cafeteria chocolate milk? Well, um, the thing is, I can use my god powers to make the flavor different. So that may, that means that I can change the flavor or how it tastes from crappy chocolate milk to great chocolate milk. So, so what you're saying is, you... <laughs> your god powers? You're gonna use your god powers for that? Well, look, that is a legitimate use of... Power. No, it is if not! I power, yes, it is. If I had power, you think I would not change the flavor of something that tasted like dirt? You know? You, you, you gotta see the point. I it's do the not point. see the point. I do well, not see the point. The point is, is that we're, we're, we're help making the world make chocolate milk taste delicious. No matter where it's from, if it's crappy chocolate milk, your powers can make it taste delicious. Oh my gosh. What if it's well by this? You guys make me crazy. Oh my goodness. A hey, Silver, someone asks, what is more important, your brothers or chocolate milk? <gasps> Ooh. Well, there's nothing to think about. My brothers, of course. So if they stole your chocolate milk, how would you react? Well, you see, I love my brothers and I love chocolate milk. So that means, if they stole my chocolate milk, then I can get mad at them for stealing my chocolate milk. So that means, well, it's just, it's brotherly love. But then that, when I get angry, I'm gonna yell at them for stealing my milk. So I, 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 ugh, I don't know. Ugh. Are you okay? Ugh, now I'm all flustered. I think you gave me the existential crisis. Oh my gosh. It's like the very thought that that could happen to him is made him really upset. I don't even want to think about it. <sighs> I understand, Silver. It's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Let's see. I am gonna... I'm almost done inking, by the way. Oh, this is nice looking, fellas! Oh, snap! Sorry, I'm looking at the chat. I'm, just, I'm, I'm only just looking back <laughs> up at the actual stream itself. Like, oh, nice! Okay. Oh, cool, alright, cool. And then, like, goes back to chat. Anyway, so what you guys want? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking... Please, something, anything. <laughs> What's up, fellas? How you doing? Uh, question, are you going to post that as a poster or something on a vegan art when you're done? I have no idea. I, have no idea. I, guess, like, I guess, like, this would be, uh, a poster or something. Silver, do your own shadow impression. Wait, you want me to do an impression of my brother? Uh, okay. Let's see. Yep. <clears throat> I am Silver, the ultimate life form. Oh and my god! No one can defeat me because I am the ultimate. Uh, how was that? I. That's very cute. That's really, really cute. I wonder no, what I'm Shadow would think. Cute? I'm supposed to be like Shadow. I'm supposed to be all dark and brooding. And I'm supposed to be like, you know, tough and stuff. It's not supposed to be You are. You are. You are very tough. Silver. I almost like Shadow. The ultimate. Hmm. Uh, oh, wow. you're very baby mode, Silver. No. Totally do an impression of Shadow. Okay, uh, let's hear it. Hmm. 
darn, not here. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you play like, the Shadow of the Hedgehog game and he says no, no words. So I just said, darn. So there's also when Shadow says ultimate, because I know that he says that a lot. So let's see. I am the ultimate life form. Silver the Hedgehog. <laughs> Wait, why did I want are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm just trying to be tough and stuff. Cause I I'm feel like you may hurt yourself while we're doing this. No! He's doing his best, okay? Leave him alone. Oh my gosh. Hey, Antoine, what sauce do you use, uh, ever tried? Hmm. What? Silver, are you dead? Yeah, I think you cut it off there. Thanos. Oh there my god. god. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Thanos. Oh, I can't hear you! God. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. I got a moment, folks. Have fun! I'm gonna be busy drawing Sonic's super cool, amazing, radical feet! We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for the guy Silver to suddenly come back to reality after being Thanos out of existence. Please stand by. <laughs> Why is he being Thanos out of existence? <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Hello? Hi. Do I live? Yeah, you I live. think so. Do I live? Yes. yes. Finally. <laughs> what was the question? I can't remember. I don't know, something about Antoine, and then you said Thanos snap. <laughs> Speaking of Thanos, oh, we should do the Thanos thing again. What? What, what Thanos thing? Uh, the one where Star starts with talking Silver's voice and then switches to Thanos halfway through. No, that's <laughs> not Thanos, that's mature Silver. That's Silver yeah. going in through a growth spurt. Yeah, it, 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 oh, it's a growth spurt? Well, I haven't had one of those in a while. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I think that I really need some chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, it, you know, I gotta say it's my favorite beverage of all time. What? And it's also just, it's just, it's, it tastes delicious and everything. It's just, it's really nice to have on like a nice, relaxing day. And you just sit what there and is and happening? No so, just, so he just goes through like, Phases where his his voice just gets really deep. Just apparently, out of, out of you know what? what? Was, I'll celebrate this occasion. Gods? I'll celebrate this occasion by singing my favorite song. Oh. In the night light. Do you see what? Oh my god! <laughs> All your troubles. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Look around you what? and you realize. All the preachers, all with their lives. I am so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I might know of the future. But then you I still control the past. Oh, this oh, is the yeah. worst type of karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Silva. Every night, I will save your life. <laughs> and every night, I will be with you. <laughs> this is the wow. worst thing that I've... I what have you guys done? This is all y'all's fault! <laughs> oh, and it's amazing. It's... You were incredible. Thank you so much, Silver. I, I don't know if I'm okay, actually, ever again. It's you know what? That's understandable. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be okay. What do you think, Sh Shadow? Oh, I Shadow lives. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow literally went into the room <laughs> and then left. <laughs> oh no! Did did my singing scare him away? It was not your singing that scared him away, Silver. <laughs> or maybe it was my voice. Uh, <laughs> Stop doing that! Uh, but it looks like Shadow might be joining us momentarily. But I thought everybody liked moment. this place. Or maybe something like that. Or maybe it was. Maybe it's just the way that I'm speaking. I can't. Oh my oh, god. Wow. Thank you. This is awful. What have you guys done? Is this is all y'all's audience's fault. I mean, 
Sonic and Shadow told me that my voice would do this someday. <laughs> okay, but their, their voices didn't go that deep. So... Yeah, Silver, but, uh, maybe there's something going on with you specifically? Yeah, you might need to get that checked out. I don't think so. I don't really think it's a problem. <laughs> oh my god! It just keeps getting worse! Somebody help us! His voice keeps getting uh, deeper! Uh, I, I don't have the power to help with this. You're on your own. So, <laughs> we have a... Lost. We have a Joseph of Hind. <gasps> Shadow! Oh my gosh! Shadow, is that you? Yes. It is me. How are you all? <gasps> Silver was making fun of you earlier. Th no, he I was what? I wasn't. I, no, I, <laughs> uh, what do you think you're doing, Silver? Nothing. I, 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 I didn't say anything. They're, they're lying. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, what did they say? They said nothing at all. Uh, they said that. Um. Ah. Uh, do you want some? Yeah. Uh, what was he doing? <laughs> Let's talk about this, like, like civil adult, even though I'm 13. Um, <laughs> let's just talk about this, like, you know, not in a violent way. <laughs> he was trying to imitate your voice, Shadow. <sighs> oh. You like to imitate me, huh? No, I was, I was saying just how great you are. Just, you know, how not... Really? Yeah, not not so dark and brooding all the time, and your hands folded, and just sitting mm -hmm. in the corner and going oh, all the time. You are a liar. Okay. And you know okay. it. <laughs> Look, I'll believe you for now, but if they tell me otherwise, you are going to pay. I mean, I'll tell you otherwise right now. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Please we don't do. Need to do that. Please do. Explain to me what Silver has been saying in my voice. Please do. I also finished the light art. Not. Hey. Oh, okay. We got two uh, special requests. Uh, Keizo says, "Hey, Silver, can I can I get Blaze to teach me pyromancy?" And then Zylo says, "Silver, this money is to never talk in that voice again." <laughs> so... Oh, Shadow, do you know what voice Silver was just doing? No, what was it? Silver, do you mind uh, showing him? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. which voice is it? I I don't really know which voice it is. It could yeah, be a really different one. Oh my god. Help, guys, help! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, there's I, I can't help you. I mean, I don't know. Who, who, who here can help? Because, uh, I don't know, do we need it? All right, so to conclude this drawing Sonic tutorial, I'm going to start coloring it. Now, additional color real quick. I'm going to be choosing different colors based off of the profile that I have earlier. So I'm going to be doing the flats first. Okay, continue what you guys were doing. This is looking really great so far. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I was able to finish it by the power of Manly Silver Voice. Wonderful. The Manly Silver Shadow. Remember. Oh. Wait, what'd you say? Question. Can you Shadow. steal Silver's chocolate milk? I think that's a bad idea. Shadow? Hmm. <laughs> Should I? Is the question? No. Hmm. Yeah, well, no. I'll think about that. I'm a little worried. <laughs> no, me too. Oh. All right. I'll refrain from stealing your chocolate milk, Silver. You're lucky. I'm being nice to you this time. Oh. Well. Especially after you imitated me! I didn't well, imitate you. You have no proof. They're all lying to I can always just go to the beginning of the stream and see what you see. No, no, no. Don't do that. Uh, um, okay, uh, okay. Here's what happened. I said, um, Shadow, 
the best brother in the whole world, and mm. he's super cool, and uh, yes, I am. Super not edgy, and you what? know he likes uh, sunshine and rainbows. Wow. No, I don't <laughs> like sunshine and rainbows. I know that there was this one time that, you know, uh, you were looking at the clouds, mm-hmm. and you you know... That's one like, time. Yeah, you know, clouds are nice, and they're just like, they're they're just flowing there in the wind and everything. I'm not stuttering because mm-hmm. I'm nervous. No, n- not at all. Um, so, I think that you were enjoying the scenery, and so for a while you were telling me that you like sunshine. So I was telling the chat that, I you know... I just told you I don't like sunshine. But, but maybe, maybe you're lying. Or, or maybe. rain. Maybe you do like sunshine and rainbows, and you just don't want to admit it because you have a re- <laughs> reputation of like I'm cool and stuff. I'm not even. Well, bro, I think I think you're you're just making it worse. <sighs> oh no. Yeah. <sighs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna assume that you're snoring and not. Growling at me. No, I am very angry at you. I'm in just trouble. trying to hold back. That's all. Okay. Well, we have witnesses here. We have about 187 witnesses. If you do anything to me, they'll know. It's no. Mm-hmm. Wait. All right. So, do God-powered uh, sons of Hephaestus are they eligible to go to court? Because you guys might not actually yeah. need to go to court. Oh, okay. Are you sure, Silver? I don't think we need that right now. <laughs> Maybe later, if things start to get more heated. I'm a little worried what you're going to do, Shadow. Don't be, don't be. See, that, that kind of tone just tells me we... You need to worry about it, you know? No, no. Everything's fine. I'm really, uh, all right. I'm really worried. I have a feel. Don't be, creator. Everything's away. fine. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying to you. I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> God! <laughs> oh, so great, great, so great. Bad, he's great. laughing. But you never laugh. Whoa! <laughs> what happened? What What happened? What's going on? Don't worry about it. <gasps> Hearing somebody say, don't worry about it? Only makes me worry a little more. Actually, Shadow, a lot more. Look at all these comments. They're saying that Silver's the best, like, person ever, and that he's better than oh, you. Oh, really? Yeah, look really? at these comments. Ridiculous. Oh. Is this chat thinks Silver's better than me, huh? Hey, hey, I didn't make them say that. Uh, uh, don't sure. blame me. For... <laughs> uh. Caris the Rachilla says Shadow is the ultimate coolest. <gasps> Thank you. At least somebody has good taste. <laughs> Thank you. See, it wasn't. You oh. quiet. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't tell me to be quiet. Shh. Oh my god, why are you shushing him? <laughs> did you just shush me? Don't you dare shush me. I did. Oh, yeah? What are you yeah. gonna do if I don't, huh? Good question. Please don't fight. Please don't fight. If you don't, fight. all right, Shadow. You know what? Arms and We're gonna settle this with like men. Rock, paper, right. scissors. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nice. What earth is going on in here? It is five o'clock in the morning. When I hear <laughs> shouting in your room. Shadow and I are having a showdown, like real men. My Ready? wife yeah, has been men. shouting at me 17 minutes telling you to shut up. I cannot sleep. She cannot sleep. 
I've heard Magoon learning he can't. Nobody in the building can sleep because you two are shouting. It's Silver's fault. <laughs> hey, you can't put it all on me. I told you, we're going to settle this. I'm going to try to eat that chair again, I swear. Antoine, do you want to eat? I will invert your organs. It was a good chair. It was made out of chocolate and everything. It's not made out of chocolate, Silver. Please, tell your brother chairs are not made out of chocolate. But chairs are not made out of chocolate, you fool. You fool. Thank you. You're chairs welcome. are totally made out of chocolate. Look. No, they're okay, not. I want you to go you know, maybe you just made oh, chocolate. Oh, there's a uh, money request. Uh, hey, Shadow, are you a Deadpool fan? And Silver, did you... And Silver did mock you. Sorry, Silver. I don't want Shadow to Chaos bless me. What? You... So you're just gonna... You're just gonna you're so just gonna it was down? true! Also, uh, Shadow, you should sing You Are My Sunshine to your baby brother, Silver. <laughs> hmm, okay. Hold on. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna have to do it without laughing. <laughs> also, for those who don't know, by the way, this is Joseph. Joseph is the voice of Shadow. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sweetest person you'll ever meet as well. Oh, thank you. My mistake for being in character until now, by the way. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's been hilarious <laughs> watching you do this. Oh my god, his shoe is way too small. I just realized that. <gasps> ah! No, it's not. Beats. Hold on. I'm really scared. You know, Shadow, think... don't worry about it. Shadow, so, how's mm -hmm. <sighs> Answer for that. Are you gonna be singing that song legit? Yeah, I'm just trying to find who it's by. <laughs> gotcha. Also, for those who. <clears throat> are still following along the drive tutorial. <laughs> um, I actually have Sonic flatted, so right now I'm gonna go to a new layer, and I'm gonna select the flats, and we're gonna start shading this bad boy. Always shade near where there's a light source. And in this case, let's put the light source way over his head. Without further ado, I'm gonna do that. While you guys <laughs> voice stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for you to sing, Shadow. Anytime now. I'm trying to figure out where the song is. Who is the author? <laughs> I'm an artist. Uh, I don't know. I've never heard of that song before. What I was haven't it? either. You're my sunshine. Is it like, um, I got the lovely crunch of coconuts? That's not it. No? Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Uh, you are my got a lovely sunshine. bunch of coconuts. I told you about sunshine, right? You just admitted it. You are my sunshine. See? See? What do you have to say about that, Shadow? Hmm? You're lucky I don't have anything to say right now. <laughs> Shadow's busy looking for the song to sing to you, Silver. You gotta be nice. Well, he told me to shush before, so I'm gonna tell him that Shh. he has to be singing a song about sunshine. <laughs> he freaking shushed him again. Did you just tell me to shush again? Yes, I did, my sunshine. <laughs> okay. Wait, now you just admitted it. Now you're just making yourself look bad. You just mentioned sunshine. <laughs> oh my god. Shadow, do you love your bro your baby brother? Yes. Uh, you, you were, you were, that took a little bit for you to answer. I was about to you hesitated. <laughs> yeah, you hesitated, man. He's trying to find that song! <laughs> Give me a break. I'm trying to find my lullaby. Of that Kit Kat bar? <laughs> Give you a break? Sure. 
I mean, no, I don't have a, I don't know what that's talking with me. I don't know. Lord have mercy. I de definitely don't, and I re don't have under my bed. Not at all. Don't check there, please. Wait, what do you have under your bed? Nothing at all. What do you have under your bed, Silver? Yeah, a Nintendo Switch with Animal Crossing? Question mark? You have the Animal Crossing and a Nintendo Switch? But I thought the Nintendo Switch sold out of that! Oh, no, it's just a regular Nintendo Switch. Huh! Awesome! Oh, man. Yeah? Hi, sunshine. Hey, sunshine. Yeah? That's all I got. <laughs> you know what? That's good enough. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for singing, Shadow. That was really sweet of you. Can we get a round of applause for Shadow in the chat? Congratulations, Shadow. Thank you. Shadow, can you also sing something for me? What's that? Uh, can you sing His World? I mean, not His, his world. world. I meant to say all of his me. World. I meant to say all That's of me. Sonic <laughs> song. No, 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 not mine. No. I thought that was a different matter. Well, there's uh, like Sonic has many different songs, and so do I. Silver has like what two? He has billions of remixes of his one song. Hey, it's a great Lucky song. You. It's a banger. You okay. Give your life. <laughs> Engaging. I Love will it. not stand here and then take this harassment from you, Shadow. It's oh. a great song. Mm-hmm. You don't sound like you agree, Shadow. I don't. My song's better. Thank you. Amazing. You're I... welcome. I... Look, you 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 know already oh, what yeah? I'm saying. Is is your song so... any better? All it says is I am over and over again. Like, don't know That's what are. makes it cool am, and catchy. Well, well, is it because everybody forgets your name? So you have to constantly mind no. everybody. Hmm. No. It just then lets why do you have to people on know that yourself? that is who I am. It lets people know yourself. that I am everything I say I am. All I have to say is, and I'm that's what makes me cool. And everybody remembers me, but you have to no like, members you. I'm the ultimate and who. I'm edgy. Fear me. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god, he's bringing back This is coming from the guy who goes, It's no use! Take this! It was trigger! All that stuff. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Well, yeah. this is coming from the guy who, you know, he looks like, you know. You know uh, what? Uh, Come on. <laughs> you can do it. You look like a. Why are you uh -huh. so mean to each other? You look like you a, a thing. I look like a thing, okay? Red streaks in your hair? Red <laughs> streaks in my hair, okay. And, Keep it going. And you also have donuts around your arm? Donuts? Yeah. Why are you like this? They look like donuts. Like bracelets, but go on. Donut rings? In, uh, They're actually um, inhibitors, Silver. I, well, I, I call them donuts. I think that they're great. Right. They're, they're well classified, well looking donuts. Mm -hmm. Right? No. <laughs> if anything, cut like the Donut Lord. Mm -hmm. Donut Lord. Oh, don't you go referencing <laughs> pop culture me. <laughs> that got you, Shadow. Ooh, I Lord all the way. That's a classic. <clears throat> Oh, dark the darkness that dozes and that does throw it all away. Yeah. Well said, Shadow. 
Thank you. Um, there are a lot of people reacting to you guys fighting. <laughs> I don't think yeah, anyone... This is who I am. Wait, what? Shadow, just open your... It's gonna be... Our... Oh, please. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? At least I what? can turn my song into a dramatic reading and or poetry like this. <clears throat> All right. Every night, I save your life. And every night, I... Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you. That was great. I, sh I shed it a very manly tear. Heck yeah, you did. Right. I was joking. What? I would love to see you guys play some video games together. I would love to. Sure. Are we going to play Sonic 06? No, you know, not Sonic 06. No. But all of us. No, let's play the best game ever, Shadow yeah, the Hedgehog. Yeah. Let's yeah, you go. Your own, yeah, your own game. Your yeah, own my game. own awesome oh. game with multiple endings and a terrible storyline, but it's great. <laughs> you're just calling it the best just because you're the main character. No, oh, that's not. How many endings do I have? Um, that's a good question. I think I have seven. Let me just. I, I'm not wearing them right now. Through my draws again. I think I have seven. I think I could. Antoine, what's it like my... living with Sonic Shadow Silver? <sighs> um, well, to put it lightly, then this is the polite version because we're live streaming. What's that they supposed to mean? Backside, but they are they are a good uh, extra pair of bands around the place, I will say. However, at five o'clock in the morning, singing the. Uh, Singing their vocal cords off. See, I, I am, I am straining myself so badly. I, I, I am trying to sleep. These two bothersome children. Don't get me wrong. I love you, Judy. There, you're wonderful all around the place. But for the love of Heathers, could you stop singing? <laughs> Minutes. My wife was pulling my hair, telling me to get out of bed and just tell you two to shut up. But I kept on for. That's beside the point. If you two keep at this, I'll have no call on my back. Oh, hang on. Bear with me five minutes. I think. Uh, hang on. I'll be. Okay. <laughs> Maybe our singing drove him so nuts that he just left the call. I'm the goon. To the toadies, to the shut up! I know I have told him several times, but they just keep going. I don't care! I can't sleep! There they are. Right, you. I hear singing at four o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Okay. I have just the thing that'll help you go to sleep. What is okay. happening got, right now? This was some salad and also some chocolate milk, and then you can play Animal oh, Crossing. Stop asleep. with the chocolate milk, Silver. But it's great. Oh. It tastes oh, delicious. You should gosh. have some. I've got spare. All right. Fine. Uh -huh. Give it. Give it. Okay. Nice, warm glass of chocolate milk. Pretty sure you're gonna love it. Just try it. Ah. That's you Please, could you just tone it down just a little bit, please? I'm going to stay here so you're not too loud, okay? That, that was actually good. It's what I don't even think they really, they really even recognize. I feel so sorry for Antoine and the rest. <laughs> hey, remember when we were learning how to draw Sonic fellas? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I love this way more. Like, just drawing Sonic, learning how to draw him and color him while just listening to you guys is so great. It's alright well. for Sam, but when you come. Nah, nearly swore then. It's gonna be okay, so... Edward. Hey, watch your mouth. The only person I know that swears is Shadow. Yeah, watch your mouth. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's another thing, young man. 
I've, t I've heard about your vulgar mouth. You can pack <laughs> it in. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, why did you why did you start cursing in that game specifically? Like why? I just I'm just curious. Well, um, things were the franchise needed a bit of a turn for the younger demographic. So they gave me guns and a lot of swears that I am not allowed to say on this stream. Um they also gave Sonic some potty mouth too. Yeah, yeah, they spread a sense. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maybe it was a good thing that I wasn't around words. back then. Probably. I know, yes, I know somebody no, requested me to say no, a very worked. specific line from that game. Alright. What was I the line? To say it. Where's that damn fourth chaos emblem? It's like art. It just writes itself. <clears throat> no, no, Shadow, he sucks and he's a fake. How dare you! Shadow doesn't suck. How dare you? He's great. Remember when he cried in issue 13, guys? Hurts my feelings. Do you I want him to cry again? People, but Antoine isn't no, here. Don't hurt his feelings like that. Come on. He's a good guy. He's down yeah. inside. Shadow might be a you know, really serious and stuff, but he's awesome. Thanks, Silver. Although you did kick me in the back of the head, but I'm pretty sure without a brotherly love, and he didn't mean anything else, even though it hurt me a lot. My head still hurts because Robin's to this day. Ah, oh, but that explains why you were trying to eat your chair, you deaf child. Hey, someone in the chat told me to do that, and I did it, and luckily it was a chocolate chair, okay? Get off my well, back, they man! It, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but if they told you... ...which you've done... But... I can fly. I wouldn't fall. No, 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 You're saying the chat told you to eat that chair. Yes. If they told you to jump off a cliff, would you have done it? You probably would. But I can fly. I wouldn't fall. That's not the... <sighs> Antoine, you know what? it's Silver. He'll do anything you tell him. I'm not Antoine. I don't look like a coyote. <laughs> oh, are you talking to Chaos or are you talking to somebody else? Don't worry about it. Cool. Alright. That's epic. I don't know how I feel about these shadows. I'm adding, so... I'm adding multiple layers to these shadows. Aha! Uh -huh, get it? Shadows? Ah. <laughs> ah. Did you like my joke? Yeah, it was utterly oh, yeah. hilarious. <gasps> oh my gosh! Shadow, could, um, could you do me a big requesty? Hmm. Can you bring out the clown, the hedgehog? Oh. Clown, clown let me the my hedgehog. Clown. Let me get my clown. Right ah, yes. You asked for the clown. Ah! Oh, oh, my God. I am the ultimate clown. Silver, do you want to join my circus? No. Um. Sure, I'll join your circus. Although, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you get over there and dance like, dance like a monkey. Dance like a what? Why? Why dance a monkey? like a monkey. Oh my god. Dance like a monkey. Uh, I forget it. You're fired. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Or was I? Uh, okay. Um. How's this? Dance like a monkey. Okay. Oh well, I almost tripped over my foot. Uh, wait a minute. <sighs> Give me another chance! Fine, one more chance, go. Woo! Okay. You're fired. Ah! <laughs> what the heck? You didn't even try! Wow! Wow! Come on, man! You fire me? I quit! But well, you're already oh, fired. How could you quit when you've been fired? You know what? I don't need this. I'm just gonna go 
go back to my room go. and play Animal go. Crossing on my Nintendo Switch. You go do that. I'm going to go play some Doom Eternal. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. That's, that's turned the volume. Everyone's like, what is happening? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think chaos is more like, finally, peace and quiet. This is what happens when you ask for shadow as a clown. Things I just go free. <laughs> I love it so much. Thank you very much. So, for the lighting, by the way, I'm putting in highlights now, and I'm going to be doing overlay for the particular layer. Uh, you were talking about the, uh, sorry, if, uh, you mind me, uh, doing a little critique real quick? Wait, what am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? Uh, you mind me, like, doing a, a critique real quick? No! Okay. Yeah, what's up? Man, remember Disco? Completely just cut off. No, I, mean, I forgot this one. I have to talk on. Um, the Ooh. shadows um, are a little bit dark. Um, I would like tone down, or, like turn down the opacity on them uh, just a tad. That's what I'm thinking. How do? Yeah. Hold the phone. Xander Bloodman says, Silver, what are you hiding under your bed? Are you hiding something under your bed? Um, no. Uh, nah. what gave you that idea? I'm oh. not hiding anything. Nothing at all. Definitely Why not. Why do I smell dairy? Oh, that's disgusting. What do I, what on <sighs> earth is under your bed? Uh, it's, it's nothing. Don't look under there. It's is that chocolate? No, it's not chocolate. It's, uh, that's, um, it's, uh. Milk? Uh, then what? It's, um, it's paint. I'm an artist and it's spilled. You know, it's it's brown paint. Hey. I was I was painting something, and I guess it spilled yeah. under my bed because uh, yeah. I'm watching. So if I were to take a, a massive by, bite uh, of a chocolate and... bar that you call paint, I would maybe it's uh okay, okay. The chocolate First bar. All, where did you it's... even find all this chocolate? I need. It's not chocolate. It's, it's... My... look at the brand. It's paint. I have literally no words. Silver, this is chocolate. Hang, hang on. Mmm. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. What brand is it? Yeah. Ooh. But you're you're eating paint. You're, that's not healthy. <laughs> this is chocolate, so. You know, you know? pretty sure it's paint. You know, because I'm an artist. I, you know I draw what? things and I You're banned things. from the cupboards. You are banned from the cupboards. I'm pretty sure half of this is my wife's stash for winter. Oh, it... why are you? This is... Oh, you're going to be in a lot of trouble in the morning. Are you hibernating or something? What do you mean by that? I like how he's trying to chase the subject. Like, no, the less, the less you know, the better. Why does everybody tell me that? Silver. So the... First of all, no okay. more stealing people's chocolate. Second I of all, didn't steal it. And it, it's not even chocolate. I, I'm telling you, it's paint. Okay, you just really I ate just tasted and drank some. I paint. just tasted one. It was chocolate. Don't even lie to me, young man. It's chocolate, chocolate flavored paint. It's what? Like, the it's, what? Okay, okay. When you paint, oh my god, with that paint, it smells. Swear like jar. Swear jar. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna Wait, be around. It's okay, sometimes I, I, you know what's just happening, all right? Nope, oh, there goes that. Whoops. Wait, did you say, did I'll you say a bad word? I'll be back in a moment. Did you all say right. a bad word? Five minutes, I am so, so sorry, I said a swear. Oh, oh no. This is moving so well, actually, I no. can't believe I said that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You can get it out oh, later. You can just it is okay. What did you say? Okay. Don't worry about Nothing. it, Silver. <laughs> don't, don't, don't even say anything, Silver. Silver, you don't need to learn bad words. You're a good yeah, player. you don't. <laughs> for, you, for your sake, you don't do not need to know what she just said. You don't need to hear anything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I need to know. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Look, just pay attention okay. to the Sonic. I'm I'm adding a lot of uh, Godmark 
stuff on it right now. And I'm playing shadow what music. Said, wow. What if I said, "Pretty please tell oh, me." Oh, you are. Chocolate. Yeah, I am. Oh. Denied. Denied. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Wow. Okay, cool. Right. Silver. What? No, it has just. First, I feel banned from the cupboard. Let me just say this. You are so lucky my wife's not in the mood right now. She is half asleep. Because let me tell you, I have no tomorrow. And let me tell you, as someone who is married to her, it's not something you wish to feel. Are you okay, Antoine? Are, are you any of us okay? Do you need to talk about your feelings? You know? No, I'm just very, very... Also, you're banned from the cupboards. You're banned from the kitchens. Oh, what did I do? Oh, okay. You stole all the bloody chocolate. Oh, be I didn't beg the part. You, st you stole the chocolate. I think you need to go to sleep. I think you... Ah. And also go to sleep. I can't go to sleep right now. I'm, I'm talking to you guys. You know, Fine. he doesn't. Maybe. Well, the night will take a seat and sit down and occupy you. Maybe you you should go to sleep. Have you, have you thought about that? Maybe you should all go to sleep. You go to sleep. That's good idea. Oh, okay. That was clear. I'm almost done. I am almost done. <laughs> I just got a funny idea. Okay, so I have a marker, right? I'm gonna draw a mustache on Shadow right now. Oh right, dear. Here. Squiggle. Let me give him a little guilty and everything. <laughs> he looks good. <laughs> and I'm gonna put some cream all over his hand. And I'm gonna do that generic thing. He has to like make his nose itchy and he's gonna like put it all over his face. So here we go. Rubbing his nose. That was cream. Okay, I, gonna back I'm just away. visualizing this prank happening. Gonna back away slowly. You're gonna die. You're gonna die slower. Someone now, says uh, one of you need to sing Sleepy Time Junction. It's a donation. Okay. okay, which one of us is gonna sing it? Who's gonna sing it? Hey, Shadow! Shadow! I'm just dead to the world right now. <laughs> what? Shadow, Shadow, you have to sing, you have to sing Sleepy Time Junction. Oh, what? Sleepy Time Junction? What is... You know, like, oh, uh... it's time to take a train to Sleepy Time Junction. <laughs> Someone's so tired they can barely... <laughs> what the heck?! <laughs> Look at your face! <laughs> Talking about. Oh, 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 What is this? They just fell back to sleep. Oh, you think that's funny, don't you? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Come here. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Um, uh, uh, don't, don't touch me. Okay, um, uh, okay. How about, how about we settle up with a hug? How about a hug? Hugs are great. I don't want to hug you right now. I think you want to give your brother a hug. That's how we'll settle this I issue, right? Hug. Violence is not the answer. Antoine, stop fun. snoring over there. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Come here, come here, Silver. Give, give me a hug. Um. You don't, you don't really look too a hug. You look very angry. Oh, oh, oh okay. My arms open. Come it was here. Just, it was just a prank. Oh. I was running so far. It's okay. I, I forgive you. Just give, give, give me a hug. Come on. You I'm going to go walk. Give me a hug. I'm going to go walk over there. Wait. No, no, I'm just going to come there. closer. But I feel safer over here. 
I'll just come closer. I just, I just feel this. You said you aura. wanted a hug. Come here what? and give me a hug. I'm not gonna do anything. What? What? You're, 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 right now. You're flexing, you're flexing your arms, and I feel like that's just gonna. Like, no, no, I'm not. No. Back or something. No, I'm not gonna destroy your back. I just want to embrace. Come on. Embrace. But embrace. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna. Grab this pillow, just in case. Um, I don't know what to do. If I go towards you, I feel like I'm going to get hurt in some way. You probably are. Okay. Um, to be wow. honest. Especially. Maybe? Uh, this, whatever this is is on my face. Okay, okay, so Sonic is not here, but I'm gonna pretend Good. that he's calling me. I'm coming, Sonic! Okay, yeah, okay, um, gotta go! <laughs> no, you get Bye, back here! Silver. Sonic's calling me, even though he's not here. Um, come! Oh, Please I wanna see out. what Sonic wants! Come here! I'll be right there! <laughs> no, you're not! Come here! <laughs> you know, I think it's a good time to say, because I just finished the Team Up Sonic. Ooh, wee. What do you guys think of it, huh? It looks wonderful. I, I want it as a background. Great. Right yeah, it looks good. I mean, the whole point of it is like, um, it's like the whole coloring process in itself is pretty simple. Like, literally, all I did was shade, add some highlights, and I showed really it. I use a, like I said, I use Clip Studio Paint, fellas. Um, and a lot of my pages are also done through Quiz Studio Paint and Photoshop. But yeah, I think this is safe enough to conclude that... Um, yeah. I think this is safe to conclude at least this tutorial. <laughs> um, wow, what an amazing experience, guys! Uh, Can we get like, a round uh, of applause for Creator? Yeah! Yes. Uh, well, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> I would all yeah, I, I can also release the PSD for you guys so that way you can download it and you can actually see the process that I took um for this video and I'll link it in the description once I upload it to my Google Drive. But regardless, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um this is GD, peace and out. Guys, want to say your uh, your fellow goodbyes? Thank you so much, Silver and Shadow, because that was so entertaining. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having no us. No problem. Really cool. Thank really cool being here. Yeah, it was nice hanging out with it, you. Guys. It was a pleasure. Yeah, it was fun. See you yeah. time. Thank you so much, Antoine, for being the. Thank you so much, Antoine, for being the uh, adult that we needed. Thank you, Magol, for yelling. Thank you, Cyril, for moderating. Thank you, Disco, for your commentary. <laughs> um, I think that was everybody in the stream, right? Yeah. And, and thank you, Chaos, for putting up with the children. Exactly. <laughs> I'll put I'll link the PSD in the description, like I said at the end of the stream. Thank you guys so much for taking the time again to just come by. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for all the voice requests. Um. I think we should totally do more of this uh, if you guys want. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye! Bye. Bye.